This is God. Howdy, viewers. Brad Proprietor of Arstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. If this is your first time, hey, subscribe. I post a lot of good videos. If you are returning, thank you for returning. If you've subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Now, this is the video I put together. It's a stranger mission that only John can do because you won't encounter this man as Arthur. You have to have the South and West opened up. Now, this man you meet is Evelyn Miller, one of Dutch's personal idols. And he wrote about America, freedom, passion, all this other stuff that Dutch felt was part of his philosophy. John meets him and realizes this is a guy who has felt that everything he wrote about was lies and is now trying to live his life the way he had written and the passion and everything he wrote about. And it's called American Inferno Burnt Out. So let's get on with this mission. I put everything together. It's five parts. And so, somewhat long video. Quite a view. Uh-huh. You know, this landscape, these views, this America, it holds us tight. And once we've seen it, we'll never know ignorance again. Maybe. It is that beauty, which really is the eternal beauty that is truth. This is God. Not the proof, but the thing. Not his work, but him. Wonderment is our morphine, I suppose. All us Americans dream of places. They are our God, our dreams, us, perhaps. I suppose. Forgive my crude naivete, but are you a cowboy, sir? Not really. Kind of. I am that most worthless of all creatures, a writer, a second guesser of our creator, a dreamer of others' dreams. Okay. Evelyn Miller. Evelyn Miller? A man I knew. He was a great lover of your books. Thank you. But you're not? Most went a little over my head, I'm afraid, but some of the bits he read stuck with me. I'm a terrible fraud, sir. Your friend was deceived. I am God's blithe plaything. And what a feeble game he has begun in me. My mentor never saw things quite like that. You know, I used to write in a study and teach at a university. I taught some Connecticut fops how best to appreciate their topiary. Oh, I was a gilded ape. I loathe the man I was. The man I am. Uh, guess we all live with certain ways of coping with what we've done in this life. I enjoyed our conversation. There's a truth in you, sir. A rare truth. Treasure it. I'm, I, I'm living in a cabin over near Tanner's Reach. Come by sometime. Maybe we might talk some more. Maybe I shall. Good day. You can kind of tell it pains John to confess that Dutch was a mentor because he saw the ultimate outcome. Now, when you take John back to Evelyn's cabin, some things begin to happen. That's it, yes. My, my, the reticent cowboy. Hello. I, you never told me your name. Jim Milton. John Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest! Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. 
I was attracted by my fraudulent fame, by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer. Oh, it makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, but alive. <laughs> I'm a man. For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or, I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We... We're all scared of something. Something within us. But me, I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost, we true Americans, we peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This, this great beauty, this truth. What are you talking about? Come. Let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. Come along. Follow me. Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste, the boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance, the harmony with nature that us, us modern men have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, but I've been known to eat from a can just as often as from my gut. You are not perfect. No, sir. N oh, no. Up there. The poor creature is caught in a bear trap. John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. Cruelty of it. If you could pry it open, it may recover. Be far You're too okay. Much for my feeble limbs, I'm afraid. Let me try and get you out of this. Those contraptions. They are unforgiving and indestructible. <sighs> you did it. It's free. A second chance at life. Maybe. As long as that wound don't go bad. <sighs> Still. Better to die free than in the jaws of a machine. Come on, lady. Now, come on. We have further to ride. The men I'd like to show you, they could have set that trap. Hunters? I've seen hunters, sir. Like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing, but dredging rivers burning out forests, killing everything you find, and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot. That is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. A sign that our way of life has come to an end. I see plenty of those signs. Look, here they are. I will speak to them. Are you sure that's a good idea? Savages! Animals! Shit! Look! Look at what What's you... What's your problem? You... You're... You're... <laughs> 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 Clarity, John. <laughs> this, this place, this is heaven and hell. The duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go. Evelyn is not quite cut out for the cowboy life. When you return to his cabin, things start to get 
a little weird. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, are you about? Hello, sir. I'm working, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm desperately trying to finish my book. It's absolute pipe, you know, but it's all I've got left. Well, I'm... I'm not eating, drinking liquor, or leaving this cabin until this draft is complete. Okay. I feel amazing. <laughs> Aside from the doubt, so lonely. Seen a great beauty, Joe. Okay. You take care of yourself. Get yourself some need. I can't fight my own nature. None of us can. During gameplay, it will remind you that you have to return to Evelyn's cabin with more food. And, well, yeah. The next mission is you bring him more food. Almost. Some more food for you, Mr. Miller. <sighs> Just let me complete this thought, eh? There's a good man. Another rewrite here. That's all it'll take. It's there. It's not quite right. And that is that. Do you know that Evelyn is basically obsessed with writing the perfect manuscript? And yeah, I hate to foreshadow things, but it doesn't work out well. I brought you some food. Mr. Miller? What's that smell? Mr. Miller! Oh, shit! Crazy bastard. When I'm done, just burn me. I want to soar in the air with the eagles. Not rotten the ground with the worms. Evelyn Miller. Mission complete.
and you can kind of stick around, throw some fire bombs and other things onto the cabinet. Really doesn't matter. This is over. As you can see, Evelyn Miller was a, an idol of Dutch's. He wrote about the American West and all the other stuff that Dutch believed in, but he himself never really lived. And he tried to live it, and his obsession drove him to his ultimate demise. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week involving video games, plus some specials and some shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.